Hey, welcome to another episode of Fresh Look at RUSD. Last week we had a STEM career day at Mountain View Elementary School. Check it out. Today is Mountain View's STEM career day, so science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Well, it, it's extremely important. Uh, not all students are aware of the wide variety of possibilities out there for them. They know that every day we emphasize academics and college and career readiness, but they might not know why we're doing that. And so today on campus we have over 60 professionals here and they are providing a look at a huge diversity of careers that touch on STEM, for example. We have a robotics engineer here. We have a veterinarian here, something kids are very familiar with. We have police officers here, firefighters here. We have a civil engineer here with his partner and the two are helping kids build bridges in the classroom. We educate them on what, what type of um, things we can do. A part of being in the fire department is educating people. Modern day firefighter, we're constantly training. Physical fitness is very important in our job. Um, learning how to work as a team. Just like we're teaching the kids here about science, technology, we utilize that every day in the fire service. So it's a good opportunity to get out and just you know, talk to the kids about those things. I think it's wonderful. STEM is really important to me. I'm from a nursing school, and so science and math is really important that we raise that up um, in the community so that we can continue to supply the need of nurses in the area. So it's very, very important. And then I have an education background, so it's very important to me personally that uh, youth um, see the excitement in science and math so that they are excited to um, study that and then uh, go to college and take the careers. This was a suggestion from our teacher leadership team at the beginning of the school year. We were discussing many of the things that we have here on campus including our personalized learning approach and it was an offshoot from that discussion that someone said we would really like to have a career day. The thing that's delighted me the most is how engaged our students are at every level. We have kindergartners through sixth graders attending each of these presentations and I'm impressed by the questions they bring, they're taking notes, they're being analytical, they're making connections, you can see it happening for them. A couple of weeks ago, we had Read Across America from all RUSD elementary schools. Brooke, how important is it to read? It's very important, because if you can't read, you can't do math, you can't do science, you can't do language arts, there are almost a thousand things you can't do if you can't read. That's right, you heard it straight from her. Check it out. I will try them. You will see. De pronto, el cielo brillante se convierte en una manta índigo. Quiere decir que es como fluorescente, ¿verdad? But as Emily grew, so did her voice. It rattled the brasses, it shimmied the crystals, it shattered the plates as they crashed to the floor. Now you guys be Emily for me. I want you... I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color too. Why do you think he can read in pickle color? This is ridiculous. I was trying to find room for a swim today when Rhonda and Clark told me they're going to have babies soon. Like there's room for that. I'm gone. Does anyone miss me? I started to cry. And that's not easy for a fish to do. Uh oh, he's sad now. Huh? Thanks for tuning in on Fresh Look and make sure to check out my YouTube channel, Studio B with Brooke. Don't forget to read. Check it out. That's perfect. I've memorized perfect. your lines. I know, right? Great job. Perfect. I'm here with Brooke from Victoria Elementary School. 
Uh, I messed up. <laughs> Brooke, how important it is to read? Reading is very important because if you can't read, you can't do math, you can't do science, you can't do language arts, there are a bunch of things you can't do. If you can't read, I just stumble the bunch. Me too. How important it is to read. Stam career day, I'm on you, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Last week we had a something. Come on, man. <laughs> what did we have? Stay tuned for a special message from the Eastside Reconciliation Coalition. Hi, I'm Pastor John Scott Harris. I'm the president of the ERC, which stands for the Eastside Reconciliation Coalition. We're a grassroots clergy association comprised of African American and Hispanic Latino pastors. In June of 2014, through a series of concerned activities and events centered on the east side of Riverside, there was a need for the community to have the clergy of the various churches take strong leadership. I'm Lieutenant Val Graham with the Riverside Police Department. The Safety Chaperone Program is for North High School and University Middle School. It's one hour before school and one hour after school. We have our safety chaperones to make sure that the students can walk to and from school and have a perception of safety. Hello, I'm Sergio Diaz, the Chief of Police for the City of Riverside. Of course, public safety is our primary mission. I believe that the most important thing that we can do to ensure our, our safety in the long term is to invest time and resources in our young people. My experience has shown me that the number one thing we can do with our young people is to ensure that they are educated. That means they have to go to school every day. Young people who are afraid to walk to school or to walk back home are more likely to miss school and to be distracted from their lessons. That's why I think that the work of the ERC's safety chaperones is so important. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the safety chaperones and to congratulate them on the significant work they're doing to make our city a safer and more livable community. Well, I have a saying in Riverside that we are better together and the ERC's safety chaperone program is an example of that. And whether it's the churches or the community in partnership with the city or whether it's you know the, the folks out there individually uh, making the connections and being bridges to the next generation of Riversiders, the youth in our community, our most valuable asset. I want to thank you and I want to ask you to get involved and do what you can to support the Eastside Reconciliation Coalition. Hello, my name is Andy Melendrez and I'm the Ward 2 City Councilman for the City of Riverside. And I support the Safety Chaperone Program for a variety of reasons. One, it'll provide a safe route to school to a parent's child on a daily basis. Also, the chaperones are well known in the community and that provides the parents the assurances that their child will have a safe walk to and from school on a daily basis. It is important that we keep this program moving forward. Hi, my name is David Hanson and I have the blessing and good fortune of being the superintendent of Riverside Unified School District and serving this great city of Riverside. For us, uh, student safety is top priority. And as our kids walk to and from school, we want them to be safe. And to see that the, the police and the city and the parents and the churches are all walking together, and to see the volunteers in their vests and the cars driving around, the key points for our kids, it brings a calmness to them, it brings a calmness to the schools and the city, and we just are very, very pleased that we have a community that wants to all work together. And there's the old cliche, it takes a village to raise a child. This is a perfect example. Indeed, everyone coming together to help our kids be safe to and from school, while they're in school, to help parents feel good about their kids walking to and from school. Um, in the school district, we couldn't be more pleased to be part of the, the coalition and to support the, the safety of what takes place in our city as well as in our schools. And I'm happy to announce and to share with you that the stakeholders with the safety chaperones consist of the Riverside City Council downtown, Riverside Police Department, Riverside Unified School District, 
and of course the coalition of pastors and churches, not to mention the Eastside community. We need you to contact us today and to be a part of what we're doing to oversee and contribute to the safety of our children. Contact us today. We need you.